So first you are open the air pressure, the uh -huh. gate over here, uh -huh. because this the pressure is triggered to open the lead door and okay. the, the cams. And go to the main menu over here. You can oh you can change to the control menu. You have the control panel over here. So you press the furnace, you will open the lead. There's uh, some error, so it will not. It should be stop itself, but sometimes it will not stop it itself. So you just press stop, you will stop moving. Okay. And uh, you can see this is the cams for the ten tensile test, the tension tension films. So this is uh, upper upper cams, this is the lower cams. Right now the drive here is locked, so it it will not move. So when you load the show sample or something, you just press drive. Your shows floating. It means you will float right now. Okay. So if you got your samples, the films, you can you see the cam over here? Uh-huh. So grab your films and use the this one tighten it up. And uh, then for example this is your film and uh, this is the upper cam. There's also a grips over here. So you just like the regular tensile tester you where where does it go on in the top? If you grab your films, so you put your film like uh -huh. this, right? Okay. And there's a grips. You see the grips? Okay, okay, I see. So you just put your film between okay. the small gap uh -huh. and tie, it, tie this up. Is it not like crushing the films? I mean, so that's the problem. If you, you crash your films, you have to make the holder. Right. But if your film is pretty flexible, it's soft. For example, if the Rochelle's film is good. So yeah, you yeah, just yeah. directly bound the films. You will not crush your films. I think I'll go with the holder. Yeah, so that's the problem. And uh, so you can use these, there's a the different screw, just tighten it up. Mm -hmm. When you tighten up yours, you'll hear the sound. All this is when it is in floating condition, right? Yes. Okay. Because if you fix your cramp, you can move this one. Uh -huh. So you can bound it, grip your, pramp, your films in between the cramps. And this is a different size, so you probably switch the head. So this is for the top one, this is for the bottom one. Okay, so after you doing this, you can close the furnace, close the lid, the same press the furnace. So the furnace is open and close the lid. And sometimes there's a offset of the lid, so right now it looks like okay. So just close these, and uh, you can go to a computer. Uh, TA Instro Expo. This is a Q800. This is for these machines. So right now it's open. So here is the experiment setup. So we use the DMA control force because you can choose different method. Mm -hmm. Right now we use the control force. The test. Okay. Test. Uh, it should be fine. The customer or something. The cams is for the tension films because you, we can choose right, different right, cams. Right. right now we use the tension films. And sample shape is rectangular, so you will put your dimensions, the length, width, and thickness. So you put the length, width, and thickness. And you'll put your sample name for something like that, and you press this to save your file in a certain folder. You can create your folder by yourself. Uh -huh. yes. So. So one second, can we close it and open it again from the beginning? And let me go through it uh, so that I know what I'm doing. Okay. So oops. So how do I bring this up? TA? You, you can close it. This one. Okay. Go first. Go to TA Instrument Explorer uh -huh. and then DMA. Okay. You are here. Connect your shows. You will. I see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Got it. You go uh -huh. go to this menu, right? right. And uh, so you control force. 
and sometimes you have to choose the test. You can choose the customer, customer or strength, strength. That's fine. And uh, the big problem is, I think you choose customer. Yeah. Is you because everyone will have a different pro procedures. You can go to the procedure here, and you can press the preload force. It means before the test, the grip will provide certain force for your films. So right now it's 0.001, it's pretty small, probably can try point 0 0.1 or something to make sure your, your film initial is get a little tension. And uh, here is this uh, is a test. And then you can do the edit your procedures. So this is the uh, means first the right now this setup is means you, you will heat it up to the 50 degree C to get the equipment and then add the thermal at 50 degrees C for five minutes and ramp it to the 80, 80 newtons. So if you want to change this you can press edit. So it depends on you are you are you are just doing the tension, mm -hmm. so you just directly pull it. Yeah. So you don't need the so the temperature it doesn't matter, right? Right. So you don't have you don't need this, so you can just did it. Did it. So you can ramp force from directly to pour your films. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, so you can change the pouring rate. So How do I add? I mean, if I want to add something equally Yes, great. the same. You can Just press drag it? Equipment. Yeah. I'll grab here. Oh, and okay. you can change the... Okay, okay. Sequence. So you can, for example, you, you can just set equipment at 80, 82 degree feet and then you will start to pull it. So you can change the pulling rate. Right now it's 3 newton per minute to 18 newtons. Mm -hmm. And uh, the machine limit is 18 newtons. So your film is stronger. If you, the strong, okay. If your film is is strong, so when the clamps are pulling, reach to the maximum limit, you will stop. So sometimes your film is pretty strong, you can break the films. So you can change the ramp force. For me, I use the one newton per minute. Okay. For ratio, you use three newton, two, three newton per minute. Okay. So you can change these. After you finish, you just press OK. Three minutes, three newton per minute. Okay, okay, right. okay. You you can write down. You can just change to one. Okay. You can press OK. So it's, you'll be fine. And notes here, you can change your name. Mm -hmm. If you know the film's poison ratio, you can type the poison ratio. But sometimes we don't know, so we put the point three three. Yes, point three three. Here the summary. The same. So you put your you sh you have to change dimension. And for example, you the data file. So right now you can go to the DMA, set up your new folders. So uh, B. For example, you can go to the test. Press OK. You go to this one. So you click again. Your shows. Yes. So you go to the run. Sometimes the I don't know. Sometimes the file will. Some something wrong. If you save this kind of file, you shows this one. You can see this one. Mm -hmm. You can export the file to the TXT. But I have the problem is sometimes I can't save this kind of file. So you just check check this. Up. So you just in your folder you can create the folder or something. You press OK. Make sure, and then make you can see this is the. This is the white white out right right here. Mm -hmm. But you if you change the dimension, for example you change ten, one point point zero two, you you change these, right? You see the apply is start to black black over here. So once you change the parameters or any anything in the procedure or nodes, remember to press apply. Okay. Otherwise it will take the default settings. Yeah. Yes, you will take the previous settings. Yeah. You will not get the right thing. Yeah. After you all set up, you just press start. You can so the films will start. Okay. So you just press start. Right now, you didn't. right now you still get the equipment. If you, yes. 
because you didn't, you didn't put it in sample, so you did not. So you can press stop. So you How do I save the file? Where do I go and here? Oh, data file, okay. Yes. Okay. So the 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 trick is because you use a sample holder, right? You have to measure the initial length between the two clamps, the two tapes, because actually you use the grooves to tidy it up. If you use the films like Rocio Ro Ro did, you don't have to measure the dimension because you can press the measure here. He will help you to measure the dimension between two clamps. Okay. But, but right now you use the holder, so you just try to as close as possible to type bound it between the two tapes. Because you use the tape, so you have to measure initial length in the beginning. Okay, I see. So right now it's okay. So then we can go to for example you, you finish your test, we can go to the computer. This is for the TA instrument, the data here. Mm -hmm. Here's the BMA. DMA. So there's uh, your okay. fire. Okay. Right now you don't have. So yeah. I open mine. For example, you can you have file something like this, and then if you want to analyze it, you can press this one. I see. Your okay. shows to this software. You can open your fire. So like, for example, I like just. Just press OK. It will show these, and uh, you can try to play around these. You can change their X and Y file or something like that. If you want to the modules, you can click the slope. You can double click over here and press Enter. You're happy to measure the slopes. Yeah. So this is the software, and if you save the file, you can export the file. So it go to export data files, TTX signals. You export all these one and press finish. This will goes to the TXT file. Yeah. So you can plot by yourself, use the Excel or something. And uh, if you need this software, Rocio said you can take the disk over here. So I'm not sure this is the version. Which version? Uh, for the thermal, uh, right now I'm not sure. You can find that's fine. This is for an analysis, right? Yes, this is for the okay. analysis. That, that comes at a later stage. First, I'll do the uh, trial runs and see how it goes. Yes, so you can. Just prepare a sample and measure the dimensions and put the yeah. dimensions and you can change the sample name and data file and you press start, you'll start. Right. And sometimes you break. After you break, the lid should be open itself, but sometimes it will not open. So you just press the furnace. Okay. So you open, open the lid up. and you're kind of to release your fire and do the second round. Okay. Cool. So MJ then um